Starfield has so many planets to explore. We know there are roughly a thousand planets in this game and so many of them are absolutely worth visiting. So today I pretty much just wanted to go over 10 planets that you absolutely have to visit in Starfield. Now, before we get into it, if you guys do want to see more content like this, obviously this is just 10 of a possible thousand planets. So if you want me to cover more, be sure to let me know in the comments. And if you have any recommendations as well, be sure to leave them below too, as obviously that's going to make my life a lot easier rather than having to scour a thousand planets of my own. So be sure to let us know down in the comments. But with that being said, let's get stuck into the first planet. Now, this planet is called Indum 2. This one is just over to the right of the Alpha Centauri system. Now, it has some awesome biomes. Part of it is like a volcanic type of desert that actually has still plenty of greenery. I found a really cool area as well where there's like this big sort of mining operation going on. Part of it is then a dense sort of swamp biome. And then each pole of the planet is essentially an ice field as well. There are some really cool wildlife on this planet. That is probably one of the things that I was looking for throughout this video is trying to find planets with really cool wildlife. And this is definitely one of them. And I actually found a lot of caves on this planet as well. So it is absolutely worth checking out as you never know where you're going to find in some of those caves. Now, moving on to the next planet, this one is called Groombridge 8A. Now, the A actually identifies this as a moon. So technically speaking, this isn't a planet, but you know what I mean. And this one is up here just above the Cheyenne system. Now, once again, this has awesome wildlife. It has multiple different forest biomes. Some of them are sort of green colored, some of them red, and some of them are actually blue, which I thought was pretty cool. The grass is essentially blue in those sections as well as the plants. So it's kind of like there are three different biomes, all of which are pretty much identical. It's just that they have different color palettes, for example. So definitely a very cool planet to check out. Like I said, there are some awesome wildlife on this planet as well. And there's also lots of mountain ranges. So you can kind of get up and get some really good views. I saw a lot of structures and stuff off in the distance. So I'm sure there are plenty of different things to find on this planet as well. Now, next up, we have Cassiopeia 4A, which again is another moon. This is located all the way up in the top left of the map. Now, it's mostly a desert planet, but it does actually have a plateau biome that is also really nice and green. The thing that I found amazing about this planet is just the sheer amount of wildlife. You can see in this clip here, there is just a million different little species of creatures running around and a lot of them are actually sort of fighting each other you walk around and you'll find heaps of like almost little wars going on between a lot of these different species and i thought that was pretty cool the desert area of this planet i thought looked absolutely amazing and just like the other planets there was actually a lot to find here so this is definitely another one that is worth checking out for you guys now next up we have the razzle Haig 2 planet which i probably butchered the pronunciation of that name but i'm just going to go with that for now this one is located up and to the right of alpha centauri and it has some very very different biomes on this planet Planet. There are frozen fields down the bottom of the planet. I believe there might be some up the top as well. There are then two different biomes with essentially entirely different color palettes and some very odd rock formations. They both do look very similar to each other, but one of them has sort of green grass and the other one has red grass. But the most interesting part about them for sure is those very weird rock formations that you can see just scattered throughout the planet. Now I climbed a few mountains on this planet too, and you could see the view and you could see just how many man-made little structures that there were. I'm sure there are absolutely insane things to find on this planet pretty much all of the man-made structures tend to have either something cool in them or even just a bunch of like ammo and just different loot to steal so this planet definitely seems like there is an abundance of stuff to find and i know i will definitely be going back there and trying to get a heap of loot from some of these structures now next up we have bradbury 3 and this is just up and to the left of the previous system that we touched on this one is a very very weird planet i found some absolutely clapped wildlife here there are some weird like scorpion spider looking things weird things with tall necks they're, they're just the most absolutely clapped wildlife on this planet and to coincide with that there is a heap of like weird hives and nests all over the planet too at least in these sort of swamp biomes anyway it also does have a really nice like plateau biome with some really picturesque areas as well so it is another one of those planets that has a lot of different sections to it but the part that I found the most interesting was definitely that swamp area as the amount of hives and just weird wildlife was definitely very interesting to see moving on we have Parima two this is over here to the right of alpha centauri this planet is home to a city called paradiso essentially a whole resort city with beaches and palm trees and the lot and it is definitely worth coming to check it out now there's also a short quest line that sort of takes place here too when you enter the planet i haven't done it yet but i do know roughly what it results in and so this is kind of a focal point of the game not really in terms of the main story but it is one of those places that has like a set storyline to it and that combined with the fact that it is just a nice little beach and palm 
palm trees and stuff like that. This is definitely worth coming to see. Keep your eyes peeled on a future video as well because I'm actually going to show you guys how to get one of these swimsuits as an actual equipable outfit in the game. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that video. Moving on, we have Ursa Major 2 and this is located up and to the right of Alpha Centauri. Now, there's some awesome mountain ranges with plenty of man-made structures just like one of the previous planets in this video, but there's also another biome that is similar with a sort of red color palette too. And there's even an ice plains biome on this planet as well. So it's another one with very different and sort of varying biomes on there. It is probably one of the nicer looking planets that I've come across so far. It is definitely very picturesque. And like I said, with those mountain ranges, they are absolutely massive. It definitely seems like they are bigger than on most other planets. And you can get some very nice views up here as well as being able to sort of scope out where you want to go and explore. Moving on, we have Serpentis 3 located on the far right of the map. Now, this has essentially only a swamp biome or frozen plains. The thing that I found to be very interesting about this planet is that at least from my time being there, it seems like it is pretty much stormy at all times. As you can see, there is like lightning going on in the background. It's raining, it's very foggy. Even the frozen plains area is pretty much always misty. And across both of those biomes, it kind of gives the planet a bit of a spooky sort of feeling because you just can't really see all that far ahead of you. Now, something that I also found on this planet is these absolutely sick looking creatures. They're also very hard to kill, but they also look amazing. They have six eyes and pretty much all three of those sets of eyes are different colors than each other. They kind of look like some sort of dinosaur. And so this is definitely a very spooky looking planet. I'm sure if I explored it even more, there would be even more clapped looking creatures out there. So definitely get out there and see what you guys can find on Serpentis 3. Moving on, we have Tolyman 2, and this is located actually right at the Alpha Centauri system. If you click on the same sort of button to get to Alpha Centauri, you'll see that it'll pop up. And if you go down, you can actually see the Tolyman system. Now, this is a really just nice looking planet, but do not be fooled by the way that it looks. It is actually well documented that there are Terramorphs on Tolyman 2. If you haven't seen Terramorphs in the game just yet, play some of the main storyline, play some of the Vanguard storyline, and you will absolutely know what I'm talking about. And these can actually just be found out in the wild on Tolyman 2. They do seem fairly hard to find, and it also seems like they've kind of wiped out the majority of the wildlife here because there's definitely much less here than on most other habitable planets. So get out there exploring, see if you guys can come across some Terramorphs, but do be aware they are very, very difficult to kill. Now, last but definitely not least, in fact, this is probably the favorite one for this video for me, is Mufred 2. Now, this is located up and to the right of Alpha Centauri, and this one is by far the most unique planet that I've come across so far, seeing as it is literally purple. Now, I won't lie, there is not a crazy amount of stuff to find in terms of like different biomes and stuff. It is pretty much if you land in one spot, you're going to be experiencing the same thing as if you land on the other side of the planet. So it is all very, very similar to each other. There is only one biome and that is a sandy desert, which is obviously the sandy purple desert. And there are no other biomes, no water or anything like that. It is literally just purple sand. Now, with that being said, even though it is a kind of like a barren planet, there's not a crazy amount of things to see. There are still a lot of things to find. There's a lot of structures on this planet. That I found actually a cave as well. There are some really cool things to find, even though it does look relatively boring outside of it being purple. So definitely come here and check it out. I'm sure you guys will find it's a very, very cool stuff. But that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys find some very, very interesting stuff on these planets. Like I said, if you want to see more, then be sure to let me know. I can definitely do this as almost like a series going and showing you all of the coolest planets in the game. And like I said, if you have any that you found that are very interesting, be sure to leave them down in the comments as well. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe with those notifications on we will be doing a setup tour at 1k subscribers so make sure you don't miss out on that but with that being said thank you all very much for watching you guys have a great day and i'll catch you all in the next one